What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at UV lights and the different kinds and how they work. It's starting to get warm weather. It's going to be AC season. So this is going to help you guys find those pesky leaks. So you guys, come on, let's get started. All right guys, like I mentioned in the intro, um, it's starting to get warm weather you're going to be doing a lot of AC jobs and some of the leaks are kind of hard to find. So today we're going to be taking a look at an AC system and we're going to be looking at the different kind of UV lights and how using a dye in your system will help you pinpoint the problems. So let me get my stuff. We'll get the camera turned around and I'll show you guys what we're doing. And that way you can take a look All right, at it. Guys, as you see, we've got a six, seven Cummins here in an ambulance and we're it come in and we, we fixed some issues on it and we got ready to recharge it and we put dye in the system. And here is what, this is Napa dye. There's the part number. If you guys are interested in doing this, it'll work with PAG or ester oil or mineral oil, R12, R134 systems, whatever you got. It only takes a very little bit of this stuff too, so you don't have to use a whole lot of it. Well, to keep from contaminating our AC machine, what I did is built a little rig that is just a homemade deal. This is like a syringe that you can pick up at tractor supply for veterinary purposes or whatever. And it's just a hose clamp and it's connected to one of those cheap throwaway uh, low side fittings that comes on many of the, you know, the little do it yourself cans at the, the store. And the way that works, you simply just put it on your low side fitting. You can pull this out add your dye as you see that we had in there we mixed a little bit of oil in with it and that way it's sucking on through the system but we just pull through the high side as you see the low side still disconnected to let it go ahead and suck the dye through the system and the way it works is when you use one of the uv lights like this is the otc spectrum light and uh it has a uv function as you can see on the top well, I've got a little bit smeared right here, as well as a couple of drops on some of the lines, and you'll be able to see it in the low side fitting. And we'll show you what it looks like. You see how it glows with the light? And you can see it there, as well as on the low side fitting. The low side fitting really glows a lot because there's a lot on there. And that's the OTC Spectra Spectrum light. It's rechargeable. Also, the Capri light has it by flipping the button down. As you can see, when it comes on, it's sort of a purple looking light. And you can see how it looks there. And you can see the low side Schrader valve. You see how it makes it all glow. Well, the new Snap-on light, let me get the part number for you. There's the CTLUV761. It takes the 14-4 batteries. And this is probably the brightest UV light you'll ever see in your life. But let me just show you how it works. Like it really, it's almost overpowering the camera because it's so bright. But you can see how it, like it's hard to explain because you're looking at it through the camera lens, but the light's extremely bright. All you gotta do is get close and it really, really makes it glow. But one of the advantages that you have of using the dye in the system with a UV light, like if your condenser's leaking, you can just get close to it and it'll, it'll just shine you know, like it did when you're looking at it down here. And anywhere that, you know, AC systems are bad about leaking where the metal part meets the rubber or where you got two lines that join together, such as this, it's an O-ring or on top of the AC compressor or anything like that. By having that UV dye in there, it'll really make it jump out when you hit it with a UV light. It'll look like a neon smudge place on there. And it'll really show up. 
But there it is, guys. Hopefully, this will show you a little bit about how useful it is to use uh, UV dye in your system when you're doing AC work. Anytime we do an AC job here or we'll recharge a system, we always put dye back in it. And it just makes everything way easier going forward. As you see with that little homemade rig we got, it's super easy and super safe. You don't have to worry about contaminating your machine. A lot of the newer machines actually have a separate bottle for the AC dye, ours don't. So, you know, this will work. And if you've got a, just a regular set of gauges, like these master cool gauges, if you've got a regular set of them, you can do it the same way. Of course, this will be hooked to your vacuum pump suck through the red side, which is the high side, and then use one of those cheap fittings on the low side to pull your uh, AC die in the system the same way we do it with the AC machine. But hopefully this will help you guys out a little bit. Like always, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, hit that thumbs up. Check the links in the description. We've got some cool tools, discount codes, all that good stuff, and click that subscribe button. It's totally free. It'll cost you guys a dime. Hopefully, y'all have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.